It's been another busy week in the NFL. We've had owners meetings, draft discussions, the Falcons named their starting quarterback. The iconic coach's picture happened earlier this week. And of course, free agency is still going on. So like I said, lots happening. The Falcons are rolling with Ritter. Falcons head coach Arthur Smith spoke to media on Tuesday saying that Desmond Ritter will be the starting quarterback for the 2023 season. The rookie got his chance during week 15 going against the New Orleans Saints and would start the remainder of the season. Season. But with only four games under his belt, there were a lot of questions about his ability to be the starter for this franchise moving forward. And while the rumors of getting a different quarterback and even possibly drafting a new one were swirling around, Arthur Smith set the record straight. Ritter is the starter. But that's not the only big news coming out of Flowery Branch. And although the Falcons have been quiet since their first wave of free agents, they just made another big splash. The Atlanta Falcons have signed veteran defensive lineman Calais Campbell after his release from the Ravens in early March. The 36-year-old has spent 15 seasons in the NFL and is one of the most seasoned players in the league. But don't let his age throw you off. In the last three seasons with the Ravens, Campbell had his best season last year, recording five and a half sacks and 36 tackles. The six-time Pro Bowler and a former NFL Walter Payton Man of the Year has the most tackles of an active NFL defensive lineman and is one sack away from being in the prestigious 100 sack club. And by bolstering up this defense, Grady Jarrett now has more help in the trenches and in the pass rush as well. This defensive line that Smith and defensive coordinator Ryan Nielsen are putting together in Jarrett, Campbell, David Onyemata, Taquan Graham, and the newly reinstated Eddie Goldman is shaping up to be a powerful one. But speaking of linemen, Caleb McGarry has been re-signed with the Falcons. The right tackle was drafted 31st overall in 2019 by the Falcons and was declined his fifth year option last offseason. But by playing over a thousand snaps and being a large contributor to one of the best rushing offenses, McGarry has signed for three more years. The Falcons offensive line had one of the most impressive seasons throughout the league last year year and with the re-signing of McGarry, the extension of Chris Lindstrom and Jake Matthews, this is great news for the offensive line. But one last thing while we're on the topic of free agents, wide receiver Scotty Miller has signed a one-year contract with the Atlanta Falcons. Miller has been with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers since being drafted back in 2019 and hopes to elevate this wide receiver room even more. But I have a feeling that this Falcons front office isn't quite done yet on the free agency front. So make sure to follow us on social for all the updates happening for your Atlanta Falcons. This has been a Rapid Reaction presented by Ticketmaster.